Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today. So today we're filming a very exciting video. We're gonna be doing a haul. I have some stuff from Sephora and Ulta that I purchased myself and also some PR to show you guys. So if you guys wanna see this haul, let's go ahead and get started. Let's first start off with what I bought myself and then we'll go ahead and move on to the PR. So from Sephora, I only got one thing and it's the new Natasha Denona bronze palette. When I saw this on Trend Mood, I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. The swatches just look so beautiful. Um, and I was gonna get it when it first came out and I was like, no, I'll just wait for Sephora to get it. And then I was like, no, I'll just wait until the VIB sale. And obviously that didn't happen because it's all the way in November. So I was like, I'm just gonna get it. It's the middle kind of size that she has too so it's not that pricey it's like $65 but yeah the colors just called to me they look so beautiful it has a lot of similar colors to the metropolis palette which I love I actually have it right here this is one of my favorite palettes of all time from her and I don't know I just love it all the formulas in here hopefully the formulas are just as good as um, this one in the new palette, but the colors are a little bit more neutral. They're not as warm like that one has a lot of like burnt oranges and stuff And this one is still bronze, but it has some like neutral shades in there Like this is a beautiful transition shade and I'm so excited to play with her Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see in videos because I cannot wait to try all this makeup And it feels so fun like filming right now I haven't filmed in a while because I was waiting to get a new camera, which you guys see right now let me know what you think of it in the comments down below but today is my first day using it so it might be a little off but yeah I also wanted to get the glosses from this line they were so beautiful but they actually didn't have them out they didn't even have this palette out on display they had to go get it for me in the back and I was just like because I was like shopping around and I was like online it said that you guys had it and they were like oh yeah girl it's in the back and I was like oh okay and so they brought it to me and it was so weird because I went to Sephora so I could swatch it but I forgot what the whole corona thing you can't like touch anything so she just like opened it out of the box and was like okay like this is what it looks like and I was like okay I guess I'll go ahead and take it um but yeah I cannot wait to try it out so that was everything that I got from Sephora let's go ahead and move on to Ulta so the first thing I picked up was just a repurchase of the Shiseido facial cotton squares I love these for my toner I use them all the time they are so worth it oh I actually got a lot of repurchases in here um so I also got my makeup wipes these are my favorite ones of all time they're from skin food and they're the rice daily brightening cleansing tissues they're just really good and I like the fact that you get like a lot in here it doesn't say how much is in here it might I don't know but it's in Japanese um, but I love these I have very sensitive skin when it comes to makeup wipes because they tend to like burn my skin and these do not do that love them so much the next thing I got, I'm so excited to open this and see how big it is. This is from Beauty Blender and it's their solid cleanser, but it's the charcoal one and it's jumbo size, as you guys could see. I run out of this stuff so fast with just the regular like size and the white one, but I've never tried the charcoal, but hopefully it's just as good as the white one because this stuff is amazing. I use it to clean my brushes and my sponges and they finally started carrying the jumbo size at Ulta. I'm so happy about it because they, for the longest time they only had it at Sephora but I wanted to get it at Ulta so I could get my discount on it you know and so they finally got it online and I ordered it right away I'm so excited I've been using dish soap because I ran out and I was waiting for this to come so it comes with the silicone thing that it always does I love these things um but this one's big oh my gosh it smells like tea tree yeah that's interesting okay but look how big it is oh my gosh i'm so excited it's like a giant hockey puck oh my gosh let me know if you guys have tried the charcoal one and if it's just as good as the regular but i'm so excited to have this and I feel like it's gonna last me forever. And last but not least, I picked this up. This is kind of a repurchase, kind of not, because I had it for free before. So I got a lot of sample sizes and deluxe sizes of this from vendors at my job. And so they would always hook me up and give them to me for free, but I fell in love with this product. And I actually had a little bit of a difficult time finding it because when they were giving me the little deluxe sample sizes and things, it was a different packaging. And it also didn't say that it was a primer, 
so when I first bought it, I bought the regular sunscreen instead of this one, which is this one I love because it feels like a primer and it also is more mattifying. When I wear sunscreen, no matter which one I wear, I get so oily and I have oily combo skin. So it never really like sticks on my face and my makeup just looks bad. And so I really fell in love with this and they gave me so many sample sizes and I went through all of them. And so I finally decided to go ahead and buy it. It was buy one, get one 40% off. So I bought two because I do go through this really fast so this is tinted and it actually looks like it's gonna be a little bit too deep for me at first but once I like rub it in it kind of evens everything out and looks really pretty so if I don't want to wear makeup I still feel a little bit confident because it kind of just blurs everything so moving on to PR oh my gosh I'm so excited starting with Kaleidos like oh my gosh guys do you see this packaging it's so freaking cute look at this box and then this one looks like a little ice cream or like yogurt container we love that and then of course the big daddy box it kind of reminds me of a lush box like the ones that you get like all those bath bombs in but i just love the colors i'm so excited i actually reached out to kaleidos for this package i know it's kind of like embarrassing to say but I don't know I just saw this collection and I really really loved it and I saw reviews and I was like oh my gosh I want to try that brand so bad and so I reached out to them and I was like hey like I just really want to try your new release and they were like oh girl send us your address and we'll send it to you and I was like oh my god thank you I was so excited and so I cannot wait to show you guys all these products so starting with this little pyramid box it just opens like this oh my gosh and then you get a lip gloss oh my god it looks so pretty it looks like it's gonna match my hair and i just love their sorry guys it takes a while to focus um but i love their packaging oh my gosh okay so let's swatch this yeah that's a really pretty color it's more sheer than i thought it was gonna be looking at the tube but it just adds like a really nice purple hue. It'll probably make your teeth look super white. I'm gonna keep that in the box because she looked too cute to leave it out. What? Next up, we have their sponges, which I love trying out a good sponge. So we have this one right here. It's a lime green shade. Oh, this is an interesting shape. I like that it has like this straight edge to it because you could use it for like cleaning up your contour and then it has like a flat butt side interesting it feels really nice and then it also came with this purple one right here oh my gosh this one looks like the real technique sponge oh my gosh and it says kaleidos that's so freaking cute i cannot wait to try this stuff i don't know why i smelt it <laughs> and last but not least we have the big daddy box just such a great presentation. So right on top, we have the highlighters, which like I said, I've never tried anything from this brand, but I've just heard so many good things. And then even for the highlighters, all the boxes look super pretty, super colorful. So the first one we have here is Moon Cruiser, which looks like a blue highlight. It's called Space Age Highlighter. Oh my gosh, and it comes in this really pretty like tin can packaging so it looks like a white but i'm pretty sure once you swatch it it'll have like a duochrome of blue oh my gosh guys look at that it's so pigmented it actually has like a purple kind of reflect to it it reminds me a lot of space baby from ofra oh my gosh i cannot wait to use these they're so unique they have a really good formula too it feels very thin and not chalky. So that one is Moon Cruiser. Next up we have Mars Melter, which looks like a red. So I'm very curious to see if this is gonna be like a red highlight. It's so crazy because they all look white at first, but let's go ahead and swash it. Oh my gosh, it does look red. It looks like almost pink, but it's really pretty. Like for an editorial look, that would look super beautiful. I'm so excited about all these colors. Next, we have the color Ray Rider, which looks like an orange. This one actually has a different packaging. It almost has like that NARS kind of soft matte finish, and they all feel really buttery when you swatch them. Ooh, this does look like a natural like highlight that I would wear every day, but it's so pretty. 
and it just has like a really nice reflect to it do you guys see that i will probably wear this one the most to be honest just because it's so natural but so beautiful and last but not least we have the color diamond basher which looks like a really pretty peach. Oh my gosh, this one has that same soft matte finish. Oh, I love the way that feels. It's so satisfying. This one looks like another gold. Oh my gosh, maybe it has more of like a peach undertone to it. It's so pretty. It almost kind of looks glittery. Oh, I can't wait to try it out. Yeah, that one's another like natural highlight. And by natural, I mean natural for me. Oh my God, it actually has some red peachy undertones unless it's like mixing with the other colors but oh my god it's so blinding so beautiful i cannot wait to add these to my highlighter collection so what's next in this goodie box we have some bubble wrap okay Ooh, lots of other goodies we have this tone activator eye primer I just like want to keep all this packaging because it's so pretty so it's just a regular eye primer let's swatch it to see if it's clear or has color oh it looks like it has color it's like peachy so it will probably add some coverage to like cover your eye veins it feels really nice it actually feels kind of hydrating which is very rare for eye primers even though i asked for these products this is not sponsored whatsoever they didn't tell me how to do anything like for them for sending it over which is really really nice it's it proves like how genuine they are and they just want you to like try their products um so next up we have this lo-fi duo blushers so they're little blushes oh my gosh i'm so excited i love me some new blush and i love little palettes like this i've been using a lot of like the alamar ones and the ofra palettes um, but look at this packaging. It's so cute. It has that same soft matte finish. So these are really beautiful like peachy shades. I think the first one is called Gari. I'm probably butchering that. And then we have the color Punch, which is a more nude shade. Oh my gosh, let's swatch. So this first one is definitely more shimmery. Oh my god, it has a very strong kind of peachy gold shift to it. It almost looks like a highlighter on my skin but it's so pretty, look at that. I cannot wait to use this. It almost feels blurring with a matte blush. And for the next one, ooh, this one has pretty like lavender packaging, love that. I wonder what colors are in here. Ooh, uh, I don't know if these are highlights or blushes because they look very shimmery. Maybe it's like a highlighter and blush duo, but this first one is called Bloom and then we have Mood. Oh my God, these look gorgeous. I'm gonna use these as soon as I can because they are stunning. Look at that highlight. And the blushes are very natural tone, which I love in a blush but they're gonna look so pretty on the skin. And last but not least, we have the Escape Pod palette. Oh my gosh, look at it, so pretty. When I saw these colors on Trend Mood, I about died. You guys know I love pink and it has these beautiful greens in there. And I'm actually not the biggest fan of green eyeshadow, but this is the color green that I actually like because it's like that limey green. And then these middle shades right here look so metallic, so wet looking. Oh my gosh, I wanna swatch everything right now, but I have to take a picture of this because it's so beautiful so thank you so much kaleidos for sending over this collection i'm so excited to try everything so the next package is from the brand blinged brushes which i was so excited when they reached out because i've been seeing these all over instagram they're so beautiful they just sparkle the best way possible and i actually got sent two of these because they sent one for you guys so this is actually your package right here i'm gonna be doing a big giveaway when i hit 200k so make Make sure you guys are subscribed make sure to tell your besties to subscribe your mom your cousin your sister your grandma whoever tell them to subscribe so i could do my big nice giveaway for you guys um but yeah so i'm not gonna open this one because it's for you and i don't want to get it dirty or anything but i have my brushes right here they're the exact same set 
and I've just been staring at these. I put them in this mug right here on top of my bookshelf and that's where I have all my makeup if you guys have seen my makeup collection video. If not, I will have it in the cards and also in the description. Um, but I've just been staring at them and I definitely need to use them. They feel so freaking soft. Let me get them out. They're just the softest brushes ever. They're not just pretty, you know, they're good quality. I haven't personally like tried them on my face or eyes yet, but I cannot wait, but I could tell that they're really good brushes. So they sent over one, two, three, four, five face brushes, which, oh my gosh, this powder brush is just so gorgeous we love her and then they sent over one two three four five six seven eye brushes oh my gosh and this one actually might be for brows but they're so gorgeous i cannot wait to try them i'll probably try this in like a trying new makeup video if you guys do want to see that but so pretty i'm gonna put them back in this mug so I could stare at them some more and kill that video. Um, but I do have a code with them. You could use code Brittany Raquel to save 10%. Um, I don't make any like commission off of that or anything. It just saves you guys money. But like I said, stay tuned for the giveaway because it's gonna be a real good. Next package is from the brand Frank and Body. I'm so excited because I have never tried anything from this brand. I feel like I keep saying I'm excited, but that's just how these videos go, you know? I get really excited. Um, I have already shown some of this stuff in my Instagram stories, so I don't know if you guys like that or not. Let me know if you guys want me to show it on my Instagram stories or if I should just wait till this video or if you guys just wanna see it on there. I don't know, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I kinda already sneak peeked some of this stuff. Um, so they sent over a lot of body scrubs. Right here we have the Whipped For Your Convenience Espresso Body Scrub right here. Then next up we have this one. It says guess what you'll be naked in one minute original coffee scrub and this one comes like in a bigger Package. I'm not sure why it kind of feels like protein powder and last but not least we have this one Which is glowing a vacation skin is inside this bag coconut coffee scrub Oh my gosh, I'm excited about this one because I love me some coconut And so that was everything from Frank and body. Thank you so much for sending that to my way So next up we got some fun lashes. They came in this cute little leopard package moment So let me pull these all out so you guys can see them they're from a smaller lash company called legacy lashes and she was sweet enough to send them my way so she sent five pairs my way we have the style blossom which look pretty wispy and then we have extra Ooh, those look really pretty i think i'm gonna like those and then we have untamed oh my gosh those are pretty dramatic i don't know if i would wear these but i mean we could try it out innocent which are very wispy and natural and then we have honey which are super spiky and very unique so the next package is from the brand laura mercier which oh my god i can't believe i got a laura mercier package look at this box it's so freaking cute okay they have a little book in here telling you about the products and then inside we got this makeup bag right here i'm definitely gonna use this perfect neutral color definitely good with like the whole laura mercier vibes um and let's go ahead and take a look at what they got me all the products are in here so uh, we have the face illuminator which is in the shade in discretion this has a beautiful design on it like look ah, she looks so wet and so pretty let's go ahead and swatch her i haven't swatched it yet Ooh, it looks a little deep for my complexion i'm not sure Ooh, i might have to change my little survey because they had me do a survey talking about like my skin tone and everything and this looks a little dark but I still really appreciate them sending a highlight. I will definitely mix this with something else. So next up, we have the translucent powder. I love this stuff. I'm so glad they sent this because I ran out. All I have is like my little mini travel size, um, but now I have my big one again, which, oh my gosh, thank God. This is like a necessity for summertime because it's the only thing that can keep my oil at bay. I like some other powders, but this is definitely my holy grail. And so nothing is better than getting a fresh 
translucent powder. They also sent over a Laura Mercier puff, which I do have some of these, but they're mini, so I never use them. And this one is a big daddy, so I'm definitely gonna get some use out of that. Then we have some skincare from them, which I've never tried any of their skincare, so I'm really excited about this. This is their Nourishing Rose Hip Oil, and it's a really cute pink bottle, or actually, the like serum inside is pink. The actual bottle's clear. Is she a glass so she fancy? Hopefully it doesn't make me oily. I don't think it will because it looks very like watery so it doesn't look too oily if you know what I'm saying. But that is what she looks like. And last but not least, we have some lip products in here. We have the lip liner in the color Hazelnut Tea, which, oh my gosh, that actually sounds kind of good. Even though I've been juicing all day, guys, I thought I would do a cleanse. I thought it was a smart idea and the juices did not taste good. They had ginger in it. It was very spicy. And I just want a hamburger, but let's just, let's just not talk about food right now. So this looks like a really pretty nude shade. Let's go ahead and swatch her. Oh yes. That looks like a color I would use every day. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. I've never tried her lip liners or her lip products. Now that I think about it, I've tried a lot of Laura Mercier's, um, like face products, but not really anything lip related or skincare related. Um, and then we got this right here. What is it? The Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick and the color Fresh. Hopefully it goes with this lip liner. Ooh, it looks like a really pretty rosy color. Let's see. Ooh, that's very creamy. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit more rosy, but it's a really nice color as well. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love getting new makeup. And so yeah, that was everything from Laura Mercier. I cannot wait to use these. Thank you so much for sending it over, Laura Mercier. Next up, we have the brand Alamar, and it's actually their birthday. So let's see how old. Two years. So happy two-year-old birthday. Oh, you guys are so cute. Um, so they sent over their birthday collection and I've been seeing this all over Instagram and it looks so pretty so I cannot wait to try it. So let's start with the birthday stuff. So the lip liner is in the color birthday suit. Ooh, I love their packaging. It's so like, I don't know, aesthetically pleasing. So let's watch the color birthday suit. I've been loving their products that they've been sending over. Ooh, that's a really beautiful nude color. I love that. That kind of reminds me of the color 0 0.5 from um, uh, what brand? KKW. I couldn't think of it. Their packaging even kind of looks similar, but it's a little bit deeper. And then I think this one is a gloss. It's in the shade Birthday Suit again. Ooh, it smells like cake. We love that. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. That is just such a beautiful combo. I am definitely wearing that tomorrow. They also sent over another lip liner. I think I got this one in the first package that they sent to me, but it's like a dark brown. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys too. Just so you guys can see the differences. Oh yeah, that's a really like chestnutty brown. I don't know if I could pull it off. Maybe all over, it would look really nice. But yeah, we got that too. Ooh, it looks like she's wearing the lip liner that I just swatched and it looks gorgeous on her. Next up is a very exciting package because it's from Lily Lashes. Those are the lashes I'm wearing today. They have been my favorite, like they were my first favorite high-end lash and I love them so much. So when they reached out, I was ecstatic because I love them so much and they sent over so many products. So we have some lashes here. They sent over three pairs. We have Miami Flare, which this is my newest obsession. I love it. It creates like a really nice cat eye look. And then my favorite of all time, Miami's. That's what I'm wearing today. They're just a cult classic. Like I feel like with any kind of almost dramatic look like they're not super like out there or anything but they just like give you that step up to glam you know like my eyeshadow is kind of like boring today i feel like but since i threw these on it looks super dramatic and beautiful and then i wanted to try something out new i said that's so weird i wanted to try something new out um and so i told them to send me goddess because they asked me which styles i liked and I've never tried the Style Goddess, but they just look so pretty online and they do look a lot more wispy and natural. And they kind of remind me of like wispies from Ardell, but a little bit 
different, you know? And they came in this white packaging. I didn't know they were in different packaging. So I cannot wait to try those out. And then they also sent over this eyelash curler, which, oh, I am obsessed with my Tarte eyelash curlers. I have them right here. But it is super exciting trying out a new high-end lash curler because the only other ones I've tried out are drugstore or they're the Tarte ones. And this one just looks so cool. It's all black, so we got that. And this baby I actually threw back in here because I was already using it because I think it's such a smart idea. So this is a lash rack drying tool. So all you do is like lay your lashes in here and it helps them like dry without you having to hold them because I was one of those people that I would literally hold it there and waste so much time getting ready and this you can literally pop the glue on both lashes and then do your lips your eyebrows or whatever you want to do and they will be nice and ready for you when you're ready to pop them on then they sent over this what is it it looks like a lash comb and I think the other side is a tweezer it looks very like sharp um but love me some tools and then also they sent over scissors which oh my gosh i need these so bad i have these ones right here that i got from cosmetology school so many years ago and they do not work anymore at all so i'm so excited to get rid of those and throw these in my everyday drawer um and then they sent over some lash glues of course we have two clear and two black which i've never tried black lash glue so that's a nice thing that I get to try out. And then they also sent over two of these lash cases, which are super bougie. They're mirrored and everything, I'll show you. They're a little bit bulky, but you know, when you wanna be extra and put your favorite pair of lashes in here, it would be really nice. And so that is what it looks like right here. They also sent over their newest mascara, which is their Triple X. I've actually already tried this because I got it in my BoxyCharm box and I really like it so far. It's very volumizing. It also kind of adds like little extensions to the end of your lash. It's just not very curling, but so far so good. I'm glad I have a backup of it. And so yeah, guys, that was everything that Lily Lashes sent me. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. So next up, Carity actually sent me over their new mascara as well. Um, let me see what it's called. It's called the Bold Mood Mascara, and I've heard really good things about this. I'm so excited. It has a really fluffy wand, which I like because I love me some volume. Ooh, it has really cute white packaging. I love that. It kind of looks like NARS packaging and feels like NARS, but it's all white. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wand. If I could open it. Oh yeah, that looks like a good wand right there there it says clump free flake free and smudge free so thank you so much carity for sending this i cannot wait to try it okay guys and the last package we have here is from morphe and i've actually already showed this on my instagram because i wanted to do a tutorial for pride day and i was running out of time um so this is their pride collection it's so beautiful i love it so much you guys could use my code glamfam922 if you guys want to save some money on morphe i don't make any money like i said but you guys if you ever want to use my affiliate links though in my description it helps me out so much because i am trying to make this a career so if you guys are ever wanting to like support if you have to buy anything from sephora or for wherever like that you see in my video i will have it linked in the description and you can always use my links don't feel like you have to but it really does help a girl out um but anyways they sent over their new pride collection setting spray which i was so excited to have this because i ran out of mine and then also their new palette this is their 10g glisten up palette and like i said i did do a tutorial on my instagram for this and I used a lot of the shades that come in here. But this has beautiful rainbow packaging. Love her. And inside you get a lot of like metallic shades and then also some pressed glitters. And mine are all used and abused because I had to. I love the way the look turned out too. It was like a pastel-y rainbow moment. And this was really, really good quality. I do feel like the glitters were a little bit harder to use than the top shades, but I'm pretty sure if you use a glitter glue, it will be a little bit easier but I kind of wanted to just use it to like tap on the other colors in my tutorial so I haven't fully played with them if you know what I'm saying so they sent over those two products and then lastly 
they sent over their brush set which is called a better world and it's a six piece brush kit and it comes in this really pretty opalescent bag and then of course you get the brushes which mine are all dirty because like i said i wanted to use everything in the collection for my little instagram video which was not paid i just was really inspired by all the colorful things they sent over and so this is what the brushes look like right here they just have that white handle and the oil slick kind of top and they were really soft when I used them. Morphe brushes are always really good. So excited to use these in my collection. And so yeah guys, that's gonna be everything for today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these for you guys. Also comment down below like what you're really interested in seeing from me. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, also comment that and if you're not already subscribed to my channel Brittany Raquel go ahead and subscribe I make videos for you every single week and like I said you have to be subscribed for that 200k giveaway which I cannot wait to do and I'll catch you guys next time bye where's my makeup wipe